with this body from the lift. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Quite a lot of forward pressure on the stick now to get the tail up. I and see. then when the tail's up, we can see a bit better. Yes. And I just basically hold that attitude until it's ready to fly. Okay. 80, 80 knots. Okay, you have control. I have control. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> you can raise the nose a tiny bit more. Raise the nose a tiny bit more? Yeah, what speed have you got on your airspeed indicator? Uh, 90. Go on, bring it back to about 75, 80. 80, okay, there we go. Still pumps going off. Okay. And you can start a climbing turn to the left. Okay, I'm like just below, above 80 now. That's fine. They, again, look at the nose attitude. You know, don't worry too much about airspeed, but you're around about 80, 80 to 75 to 80 knots on your airspeed indicator yeah. would be a good climb speed. That's yeah. where I am now, 80 great. knots. That's great. Yeah, and then just get a feel for it, you know. I mean, it's obviously very, very sensitive in, right. in, in aileron, but um, don't be shy. Just climb to climb to where? Yeah, we're going to climb to 6,500 feet. Okay, so. do I level up now? Uh, well, uh, do I level my wings now or still climb? No, just keep turning. Keep, keep turning. turning. We're going we're to go into the aerobatic box. Stay in the aerobatic box just okay. to the west of Kitty Hawk. So, you see on your left wing there's a radio mast. Uh, yes. That's about the western edge of the box. So keep turning. Because we want to keep ourselves right in the aerobatic box. Kitty Hawk traffic, Echo Delta Bravo is just F101. We're in the aerobatic box just to the west of Kitty Hawk for the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Echo Delta Bravo. Okay. And you see the runway now on your left? Uh, so you, yes, I see. You're right in the northwestern corner of the aerobatic box now. So okay. fly all the way south. Over that radio mast. Okay. So you're heading in pretty much in a southerly direction. Keep us parallel to the runway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is weird. Okay. Okay, turn left square to the runway now. You're pretty much on the southwestern boundary of the aerobatic box now. Do you see the radio mast on your left wing tip? Yes. Just down here below you. Yes. Okay, so turn towards, uh, uh, keep turning. There's a Bronco Spray Dam on the nose now, just out of interest, slightly right of the nose. So yeah. you're sort of skirting yes. the southern edge of the box now. Okay. And if you turn left again now in a, no in a northerly direction, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and do that approach to the stall and recovery. We're already coming up 7,000 feet, so we've got plenty yeah. of height. So roll the wings level parallel to the runway, just keep turning. Okay, you yeah. see the quarry on the nose now. There's a quarry coming up yes, onto the nose yes, now. That's yes. a nice reference point. Yes. Uh, you want to go slightly left of that, a little bit further left. Okay. And you're looking at the eastern edge of Mamalodi now. Okay, let's go. Right. So close the power all the way smoothly. Okay, so you say again? We're going to do an approach to the stall and recovery. So close the power all the way smoothly. Oh, smoothly. Okay. No, no problem. Okay. Now, okay. just fly it like you would your Erie. I want to see where it stalls. I want you to tell me on your airspeed indicator where it stalls. And okay. then just recover like you would normally. Okay, okay. so it's 80, uh, 60, keep, 60. Keep raising the nose. She's still flying. Yeah. So and just remember, if there's a wing drop, don't correct with aileron. Yeah. And... What have you got there now? 40 almost. Just 50. 50 knots. A little bit more, you'll feel it go. There okay, she there goes. goes. There she goes. Okay. And a bit of a right wing drop. Go, lift right, lower the nose a little. Okay. Okay, and you can take the power. Okay, what speed did you see there? Uh, could, uh, about just below 50. Okay, so let's call it 50. 50, yeah. Let's call it 50. I've got control. Okay. So what I want you to do now is I want you to follow through with me, and I'm going to show you that purposing flight path, okay? But um, I just want to do this gently for starters because I don't want to, I don't want to give you a scrook. Yes. Um, but you're also going to have to just be a bit strong. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go south, okay. and I'm going to pull a bit, and then I'm going to unload a little. But I'm just going to start off very gently. Are you ready? Yes. So I'm going to pull a little. Okay. That's about 2G. And now I'm going to, I want you to watch your speed. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. Now I'm unloaded. Do you feel that? That's about a quarter of a G. What speed did you yeah. see? 50. No sign of stalling. No. Now watch now. You feel that? Whoa. That's stalling. Stalling at 100. Now, now watch this. Watch your speed. 50. Watch your speed 40. now. Why is it not stalling? I saw 35 there. What did you see? 35, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, because we're unloading. 
There's a high speed stall. Okay, there's a high speed stall. What's your speed now? 60. Watch it now? 40. What's it now? 35. Why is it not stalling? Because I'm at half a G or a quarter of a G. Do you feel the load? Yes. I want you to try that a little. You've got control. I have control. So pull a little. Okay. Pull harder. Harder. Okay, not enough. Doesn't matter. Hold it there. Hold it there. Now start pushing a bit. Push, push, push. Push. Unload. Not too much. Not too much. You unload it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let it accelerate. Let it accelerate. Lower the nose a bit. Now okay. pull for me again and pull a little harder. Pull. Okay, not hard enough. That's fine. Okay, hold that attitude. Hold that attitude. Don't, don't let the nose come up. Yeah. Hold that attitude. Now ease it over the top. I want a quarter of a G. Look at your speed. 40. And it's not stalling because we're unloaded. No. Yeah. Now I want you to pull firmly now. Pull. 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 Hey, you Whoa. feel the stall. That's an accelerated stall. Yeah. Do it again. Pull. Pull hard. I helped you a bit. That's an yes. accelerated stall. But as Woo. soon as you unload, it flies. You yeah. feel that? Yeah. Okay. Give us a steep, just level off and give us a steep turn to the left. Okay. And in the turn, I want you to load it. This will be more your comfort zone. Sorry. Say so again. So in the turn, I want you to load the wing. So, so I'll help like you a bit. That. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now start pulling. Hey. That's an accelerated stall. Whoa. Okay. It's just go straight ahead here, but I've got control. You have control. Okay, how, how is that? Are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. Not it's feeling it's, sick. It's, it's no, not yet, but it's getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Okay, so so are you? Do you, you want to go up and look at the spin, or shall we look at that a bit more? Uh, yeah, we can. Um, we can look at the spin, I think. Okay, let's go up and look at the spin. And again, have to go slightly above this layer of cloud here, but it's only about three eighths. That's fine. Kitty Hawk traffic, Echo Delta Bravo in the aerobatic box, just west of Kitty Hawk, we're on the climb to 9,000 feet down. Echo Delta Bravo, west of Kitty Hawk. So, what we're going to do now, just relax for a little while, so, so just yeah. take in what we've just done. Um, that was playing with loading the wing, getting an accelerated stall, unloading the wing, seeing it flying yeah. below the stalling speed. Um, and you know, as you gain more comfort, one can do that more, and and and, and yeah. uh, you know, you'll 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 get comfortable with it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to demo a spin to you. It's going to be two turns or thereabouts, okay. and it's going to be to the left. And we're coming up to 8,000 feet. I don't want to waste time. Are you happy to go into it? You just watch it. This is yes. a demo. Uh, am I, shall I follow you on the controls? You follow, or not? follow me on the controls. Absolutely. Okay. But I have control, and this is a demo. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. High, high hazel checks I've done in my head. Okay. So we're okay. approaching a store. Throttle is fully closed. Okay. And I get to the point that the wing's Would about to stall. Stick drop? full back, full left full rudder. Okay. There the aeroplane has done one turn. Yes. There it's done two Ooh. turns. There it's accelerating. Opposite rudder, with the stick hard back. Ease the stick forward. Ease out of the dive. We're at 6,600 feet. We lost a total of 1,400 feet in the exercise. It was two and a half turns. That was scary shit. Okay, you've got control, climb us back up again. Whoa, do what, 8,000? Yeah, back up to 8,000. Level now, like that? Yeah, you can keep the turn going. I want to keep us to the west of Kitty Hawk. Do you see where Kitty Hawk is? The airfield, yes, right below you. Yes, I want to keep yes. us on the western side of the uh, airfield. Just keep us clear of cloud as you turn. Okay. So, I think I must do one more of those with you and then you must try one. Okay. Are you happy with that? Yes. How are you feeling? You're not feeling sick? No, no, not yet. <laughs> right. Oh, good. Well, hopefully you won't. Okay. Do a climbing turn to the left for us, please. Climbing turn to yeah. the left. Okay. To I, the want, left. I want to go, get up to 8,000 feet and I want to keep to the west of the field. Okay. It's obviously important here that we stay in the box, so because we're using dedicated airspace, so we need yeah. to stay in this confined bit of airspace. Yeah. Okay. okay, this one we'll do to the south. Okay, now we're just above the cloud. Yeah, no problem. That's good. Okay, I've got control. You can follow through with me again. You, you have control. Let's see where there's a nice little gap in the cloud. There we go. There, there we go. go. Going to get us back up to 8,000 feet. Head for this little gap over here. And the field's on our left now. I know you probably can't see it. No, no, no. But I'm going to head for that. There it is. Look, look, look below us on the left wing. You'll see the field there. Yes, I got it. I'm just going to do the spin off this heading because it's nicely in the clear. Are you ready? I'm ready. Throttling, same thing again. Follow through with me. Okay. Throttle right back. Approach to the stall. And as she stalls, stick hard back. Stick hard back. Left there she goes. That's okay. one turn. Two turns. Full opposite rudder while the stick is hard back. As the spin and couples breaks, 
Centralizer controls, ease out of the dive. As the nose catch the horizon, full power, we again lost exactly 1,400 feet. You have control. Whoa, all right. Yo, okay. Now, back to 7,000. Yeah, back to eight, back to eight. eight. Unless you, it's, uh, if you want to do another spin. But uh, you must talk to me now, Andre, as well, because we don't have to do what we said we're going to do. If you're not feeling great or you'd like to stop, we can stop, we can talk, we can drink coffee, we can come again. You know, I mean, it's not Yeah, yeah. It, it's not like we have to finish what we said we were going to finish. Yes. Um, would you like to try a spin or is it premature? Um, I think I'll try it, but you're under control, so no, you just take it, take it to the Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Okay, do a climbing turn to the right for us here, and that should keep us in the clear. Do you see the airfield down on your right? Yes. Look below you? Yes. Just don't raise the nose too much, otherwise we're going to stall it before we want to. So I about 70 knots minimum, thereabouts. Woo. Keep the turn going to the right. You're not feeling nauseous though? A little bit, but not much. Okay, well just be careful of that. So rather talk to me if you are. Raise the nose a little more now, we want to just keep this climbing. Keep turning okay. right. You see the fields coming underneath you now, so yeah. turn hard, right? And just as we go over this little tuft of cloud here, we, it's actually a beautiful day for doing this. And clouds yeah. make nice drift. Straight ahead now, straight ahead. And climb another 200 feet and we're at 8,000 feet. Okay, just, just try, shoot us up that last 200 feet. You can pull the nose up a little to do that. Okay, we're well positioned. Start closing the power, lower the nose slightly just to the straight and level attitude. Pull the power all the way back to idle. Okay, now keep the nose above the horizon just like a storm. Make sure the throttle is fully closed. Okay. When I say now, I want you to pull the stick hard back, full left rudder. I'm, okay. I'm with you, don't worry. Okay. okay, now, hard back, full left rudder. Woo! Hold it, hold it, just hold it. Okay. Full left rudder, hold it, yeah. hold it, well, hold it. Yeah. Recover, opposite rudder. Opposite rudder. E that's it, nice, very nice. Good job. He's out of the dive. Left turn for me to keep us in the box, please. See the aerobatic boxes down here. Kitty Hawk down there. Full power. Full power smoothly. Always nice and slowly and yeah. smoothly on that throttle. And uh, you can climb us back up if you'd like to do another one. No. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Shall, we, shall I show you a loop and a roll and, uh, and then we call it a day? What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, let's do a roll. Okay. So, so I have control. You have control. And I'm going to do a, a roll straight ahead. I'm going to do a ballistic roll, which is very, very gentle and innocuous, pitching the nose above the horizon, and around we go. Now, obviously, the extra's got a fantastic roll rate. How did that make you feel? OK. Can I do another one? Shall I do it? Yeah, OK. So, nose up. the nose slightly up. Check. And, and left. Roll. Yeah, lots of aileron. More aileron. OK. Yeah. yeah. That's right, you got it around. Okay, do a steep left turn for me to get us back into the aerobatic box. And you can do a couple more of those if you want. Okay. Okay, keep turning left. You see the, you see the airfield? I want to orientate you. There's your radio mast again. Yes. Okay, and uh, whenever you're ready, give me a roll. Okay, so. Use more aileron this time. Don't be shy okay, with so aileron. Nose, nose up, up and then roll. Bit. Yeah, fix the nose up slightly. Right. Check. And aileron. Okay. Woo. You want to see a loop? Okay. Only if you want to. I mean, it's... Uh, it, yeah, let's try it. Okay, I've got control. Yeah, but so no. this is going to be... Um, um, we've already pulled 4G on one of the spin recoveries. So it's going to be a 4G pull, but it's actually a very nice, gentle maneuver. So uh, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to dive in from here. We're going to actually not go across the, the box because of the cloud. So I'm looking for about 160, 170 knots to do a nice loop. Here we go. We're diving for that speed. Just relax. Take a deep breath. I've got control. There we go. We're doing 170 knots. That's a great speed for a loop. Leveling it off. And he has a 4G pull. And put your head back and look for the horizon. Oh, do you feel your light over the top? That's a half a G over the top. You feel that? Yeah. And now we're coming down. That's another three, three and a half, 4G. There we go, 4G pull. Boop. There we go, there's a loop for you. You want to try one? No. <laughs> okay, should no. we call it quits? Uh. Let's, take, let's, take, let's just, let's just uh, regroup here for a second. Yeah. I've got control, put lots of air on your face. Yes. And um, 
Yo. So, so, this is my suggestion, unless you tell me otherwise. Let's land and go and have a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's a good uh, idea. <laughs> and, and, and then we can we can always come and do another session a little later. My other session this morning has been cancelled anyway. So are you happy with that? Do you want me to fly it or do you want to, you, do you uh, want to fly it? Let me, let me fly okay, as far you, as I can. You've got control. I have fly control. about 80, 90 knots and just turn us around onto a downwind with one nine, uh, uh, zero one. Do you see the airfield behind you? Behind To you. your right. To your right behind you. Oh, there we go. So turn onto a right hand crosswind for zero one for me. Turn right. Okay. And, and, and you can head straight towards the downwind, right hand downwind for zero one. Zero one, okay. You with me? You got yes. it? Yes. You orientated? Okay. Yes. And keep the speed at around 90. 90, 95 knots is great. So you can take the power if you need to, it's up to you. All up to you. Kitty Hawk traffic, Echo Delta Bravo is leaving the aerobatic box. We're just north of Kitty Hawk now, joining on the right hand crosswind for runway zero one. And Kitty Hawk's at 4,600 feet, so circuit will be at 5.6. So you can start a descent. You've got about 400 feet to lose. Oh. And start a turn on to downwind now. Parallel to the runway. That's great. Kitty Hawk, Echo Delta Bravo is right downwind for zero one. Yeah, that's that's a fairly decent position, and um, you're fairly fairly close to the field. Maybe just go slightly left to give yourself a little bit more room for the base turn. I'm just running some checks here. Fuel, we're on the Acro tank content sufficient. Fuel pump is on. Mixture set, proper set, and. Uh, You can, uh, now, now this turn through base onto final, just think about your accident investigation here for a second. This yeah. is a perilous turn and it often kills people. Yeah. But it's not about speed, it's about loading. Yes. So I'm helping you a little bit now. You've left us with a fairly tight turn. I so I'm taking yeah. quite a lot of power in the turn. Okay, you've got control. It up. I've got control. And uh, do you see the runway there? Yes. There we go. Now I'm going to go slightly through the center line deliberately because I'm aware of where the wind is from. Yeah. So I'm deliberately going slightly through the center line. And approaching from left to right now, I'm actually going to slip it slightly to the left so that I can see the runway. So do you I see the airplane actually on a side slip now? Yeah. Okay, Delta Bravo, it's final approach on my zero one. And I'm flying a curved approach with a bit of side slip on so that I can see the runway. Otherwise, I can't see it with a freaking great big nose in the way. Yeah. And as I get down to about this height, I decrab the aeroplane. And there you got a decent landing and an extra. They're not always as nice as that. That was a three-point touchdown. Yeah, three-point. All three, all three wheels. Gently taking up the slack on the brakes. Directional control becomes massively important here because in a tail dragger, the back end wants to overtake the front end. Yeah. Uh, I hear that. And there we go. Everything's off. Fuel pumps off. Mixture's lean. Mm. And how are you feeling? Not so lekker. Yeah, queasy. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know, but you're not about to throw up. No. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. So I hope that wasn't an unpleasant experience. No, but, not at all. Uh, but let's, uh, as I say, there's no, no need to push it. And I'll tell you what happens with air sickness is it doesn't get better. So, so to think I'm feeling a little nausea, I'm nauseous, I'm sure in three or four minutes I'll be better is, is not the case. So um, it's, it's better to just call it quits. Mm. Um, and uh, as soon as we... As soon as we're able to, I'll open the canopy. Get some fresh air on the subject. Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful aeroplane. You know, it, 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 it's able to demonstrate things so, so well, like, you know, I mean, you can do you can do 
all, almost all of that in your aeroplane. We can do all of that in the RV for sure. Um, no problem. We can do the spinning, we can do the looping, we can do all of it. But, but the extra weight is relatively unforgiving in the sense that if you ever look at the shape of this wing, it's actually not an aerofoil, it's just a freaking wedge. So if you pull it, if you pull it too hard, it lets go and you felt that, wow, you can feel it. Almost like a, you can feel the separation of airflow is, is, is very, very pronounced. So it demonstrates that accelerator stalk very, very well. Okay, we're going to lose comps, I'm turning on the air. Okay, yeah. right. Sweater. My face is wet.